The 911 tapes are out on two kayakers who are clinging to life and clinging to their boats. Sit on your sides, Andy Fox has been listening to them. He joins us now with those frantic moments. Andy. Yeah, well, Alvita, you know, listening to the tapes, you really get the emotion of fear in the voice, and you can hear it as they frantically make the call. Monday night, 740, the calls came in. The two kayakers clung for nearly two hours. The calls to 911 made while they were in the water, and you can tell they were both in distress. Two friends kayaking across the James River when danger paid a visit. Me and my friends are in the James River right now. We were kayaking, and our kayak just... That was 20-year-old Jesse Coburn calling 911. Then his phone went dead. I had called 911, but uh, all I was able to get out was we're in the middle of the James River, and then a wave came over and ruined my phone. Both in the water, one phone down, but Coburn's buddy, Cameron Dodge, still had his phone. He called 911. Are you in a kayak right now? No, this book was put in the water with my phone. You can hear the stress in Dodge's voice. Tell me what you say. Well, it's basically put in between the stories. You can't make out anything when I start. Okay, you can't, you can't make out anything? No. Do you see anything when you look on the shoreline? No, all I can see around you. You can't see around you? No. 911 says they are looking for them. What colors are your kayaks? Uh, one yellow, one green. Coburn says they could see rescue boats, but the boats just couldn't see them. They're both holding on to the kayak itself, uh-huh. And you said that you're holding your paddle up? Yeah. Do you have life jackets on? Yeah. I still have my paddle for my kayak. Uh, I saw one of the ships, they were kind of hanging, heading pretty close to me, so I, I was screaming. I, I put my uh, kayak paddle up in the air and started waving it around as best I could, and uh, they saw us. Yes, Dodge's cell phone would die too, but 90 minutes later, the two friends were rescued. In that 90 minutes, the two floated for 12 miles. All's well that ends well. The great adventure had a happy ending. Why? Because the kayakers were wearing life jackets and remained relatively calm. And Alvita, this goes to show you that it is very difficult to make a 911 call when you have water in your mouth. And it also goes to show it's a good thing to wear your life jackets. And too. thank God they both are alive. Yeah, without a doubt. They Thanks, remain Andy. relatively calm. They do. Thanks, Andy. Okay.